A man runs for his life after a violent robbery, and snippets of that crime are caught on tape. Austin police caught one suspect and are searching for a second right now. They arrested 17-year-old James Perkins. He's charged with attempted capital murder, aggravated robbery, and aggravated kidnapping. They say he and two buddies held up a bicyclist in the 9400 block of Manjack Sunday night. That's where we go live now to KXAN's Josh Hinkle, who found out some new details that could be the clues police need to catch those still at large. Josh? Leslie, the suspects used a cell phone to trick their victim, an ATM card to try to rob him, and a gun to threaten him. Now all the pieces are coming together tonight as police search for the second of three men who committed this crime. It's the last anyone saw this man before police say he headed down the block where his victim was waiting. In the Texaco surveillance video, James Perkins goes to the counter to buy something. This after police say he tried to use his victim's ATM card to steal money. The manager had no idea his camera would help catch a criminal that night. The images seemed normal enough. They stand in the door for a while and they leave. That's all I've seen on the video. Only minutes before, police say it happened to 19-year-old Francis Dulles. He was riding his bike along Manchac. When the suspect approached, he asked Dulles to use his cell phone, so Dulles gave it to him. Then Dulles noticed the suspect wasn't even using the cell phone, so he asked for it back. Next, the suspect pushed him down into a ditch, and the crime only continued from there. Dulles struggled with the suspect, then tried to crawl back up the street. Two other men were there waiting. Dulles said the trio held him at gunpoint, taking his ATM card to the Texaco. The first suspect held the gun to his victim's head. Dulles fled for his life, only to be shot in the backside, but he lived. Hey. They had the potential to kill somebody the next time that they decided to do this. It wasn't the first time. With the help of the video and the victim's description of the suspects, another victim from a very similar crime a mile away came forward and said he knew one of the attackers in both incidents. It was a man he'd played football with at Aikens High, leading police to Perkins' arrest. Police say they know who the second suspect is, and they're actually searching for him right now. As for that third suspect, they're still waiting to figure out who that man is. For now, we're alive in South Austin. Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News.